Good morning, back with another video. 6.42 in the morning, we're actually here at IHOP making an early morning delivery. Let's go pick it up. All right, everything is all loaded up. We are ready to go. Just got done with the first delivery. It was at a doctor's office. We have another delivery coming up here in a few hours. So let's get some to eat and we'll be back here in a few. Here we are, order number two. We are again at Poblano's Mexican food. This is supposed to be a small order at um, Poblano's. So let's go and pick it up. Okay, in traditional Poblano's style, we have one bag for one person. Let's go drop it off. And that's all there is to it. This actually reminded me of something that I've been wanting to tell you guys. I always preach about, you know, going above and beyond and making sure that the setup is on point. It is super important. However, you will have orders where the customer does not. Again, they're and they're very strict when it comes to this. They do not want you to set up the food for them. You know, you have some companies that order a couple times a week. They have like some kind of food program, but they do not let um, outside people that are not employees inside of the business. And so, you know, there's good and bad things, good things, because you know, you're able to um, maximize your time. But you, the bad thing about it is that you're not able to set up the food how you want it and, and you know provide that extra service to the customer and so this was an example of one that I normally set up um, here but because this was for one individual in the company they just wanted me to drop it off at the reception so obviously you don't want to set it up if they're asking you to leave it at the reception desk um, but it happens not only in this scenario you have other uh, businesses where where they say no please do not set it up just drop it off here you can take a picture and you're good to go as always thank you so much for watching we'll see you with the next one